So this is called Pierre, Pierre, I'm an Elliot Trudeau. <laughs> After three years of being Prime Minister of Canada, he married a 22 year old from West Vancouver. She was 30 years younger than him and fucking hot. <laughs> But Margaret ended up breaking Pierre's famous heart after supposedly spending a lost weekend with Mick Jagger in New York City. New York has a thing with coke and bare naked ladies. <laughs> hey, if I had a million dollars. Pierre, you're stealing my prayers. You came down the Palmer stairs and your body had to be carried by a black smoke stack train back to Montreal to have cash for be one of your papa. I pray you're drinking red wine right now with rain hands buried in heaven. And she's reading you her work never produced in your too short of a lifetime. Maybe she'll even pen a play on your visions of a just society. And if you two kiss behind the pearly gates, I play that the bliss is a bass line and while I'm the chords of a truly great man who finally met his man. Here in eternity's hallway, I have did 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 dance the part of having a woman in every port as ex-lovers part of the revenge and heated pool on faithfully wounded resort. And Pierre, we can all here collectively imagine how you felt every time you heard the Rolling Stones on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, but we all sat on both sides of this eternal hallway. And for the man that is famous for the lines, the state has no place in the bedrooms of this nation. We did not exactly pay the favor when his marriage broke up. My friends, we wasted so much time giving a shit what Tiger Woods was doing when he wasn't playing ball. <laughs> we wasted even more time over a Bill Clinton blowjob. <laughs> you know what Trudeau would have said? If he would have got caught doing a line of coke and getting head in the Oval Office. <laughs> Just watch me. <laughs> Robert Plant or Jimmy Page. And this is not a put down 20 man here tonight who's dating a woman half his age. This is about a woman with sapphire eyes and Ruby Tuesday cheeks and about every man that shuts the fuck up and listens when the woman speaks. You can say what you want about Pierre, about Elliot Trudeau. And people do. When I perform this from Calgary to Quebec City. But he stood up to America. No Prime Minister other than Ethan Baker during the Day of the Pigs has done that. As we watched as he pulled out Canadian peacekeepers from Vietnam, which gained him the highest honor in the world. They had Richard Nixon call him a fucking asshole <laughs> on the Watergate Pigs. Which makes me think, are we ever going to have a Prime Minister rise up and lead us the same way again? His response to the impeached president I've been called worse by much better men. Mm -hmm. My friends, we are just not the polite nation beside the superpower they're trying to pin on us. Sorry. 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 <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. We were the Underground Railroad's destination from slavery. We were the third country in the world to recognize same-sex marriage. And we were the oasis for draft dodgers seeking refuge from the U.S. military. This is our history. This is our fuck you, they like us in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> but my friends, we are losing our character. We are now like a Shakespearean actor in a bunny outfit. <laughs> doing TV shampoo commercials. <laughs> and throwing away health care and drinking off Tim Horton for a special sauce. <laughs> that is why a 22-year-old, a 22-year-old American soldier can show up on leave in Vancouver and hitchhike to Newfoundland and decide that he doesn't want to return to it for his tour of duty and find himself in Thunder Bay, Ontario. 
and went looking for refugee status. It can be sent back in handcuffs by the Canadian government and had to be spent 50 months in U.S. military prison. My friends, sorry, but the train don't stop here no more. My friends, we need another <laughs> Pierre Elliott. Shoot up.